guys, Ron Scar here, and this is a tutorial on how to use fraps. Somebody asked me to do this, so I was like, okay, why not? And if you guys want to see me do any more of these tutorials like this, or anything else that you guys have questions about on how to do, tell me in the comments, and I'll do a tutorial on them. So, how to use fraps. Once you have fraps downloaded, I'm pretty sure it's like $30 or something like that. Um... This is not a tutorial on how to get fraps or install it, this is a tutorial on how to use it. So if you are looking on how to install it, this is not the tutorial that you're looking for. So, once you have fraps, you'll install it and run it, and then you'll come up with this page. With this with this screen, your fraps will come up, and it'll say, Start fraps while minimized, fraps windows always on top, run fraps when windows starts, monitor area desktop, and minimize to system tray only. Start fraps minimized. You could do that, but in my opinion, I just like to keep it on my uh, my uh, desktop bar. So I can just click on that whenever I want to record. I'll just turn that on. And then uh, fraps window is always on top. Uh, that means that your um, your FPS thing is at the top. Run fraps when Windows starts. You can click that if you want to doesn't really matter monitor area desktop that's the one you want to do because that means it will record your gameplay minimize the system tray only you don't need to check that okay so general you pretty much only need to click fraps windows always on top and monitor area desktop that's pretty much all you're gonna need okay so fps stands for frames per second and the better computer you have the more fps you're going to run the, the more fps you have the better your videos are gonna look so the computer I have right now, I can run about 60 FPS while recording, which is pretty good. Not the best by any means, but it's pretty good. For FPS, you don't really need to change anything, just make sure you don't have um, really any of these benchmarking settings set, because you don't need to worry about benchmarking, it's kind of stupid, don't really know why they have it. And over here, on the right side, you're going to choose where you want your um, FPS to show, and I will show you guys that in a minute. Or, you could just hide it, which I'll also show you what the FPS looks like. And then your overlay hotkey, you don't really need to worry about that at all. And you don't really need to worry about your benchmarking hotkey. Unless you really want to, but it's... I don't use it personally, so you don't, I don't really think you're going to need it. Next, in movies, this is where it gets confusing, and this is kind of like the important part. Video capture hotkey, this is the button you're going to press on your keyboard when you want to start recording. I have mine set as F9, but in my Crazy Craft series, I have to change that to F4 because F9 is uh, conflicting. So, but for uh, most things, F9 won't bother anything. So that is generally the um, video capture hotkey for most recording softwares like Bandicam, Camtasia, different things like that. Video capture settings, make sure you have full size checked. If you do not have full size checked, it will have a black bar around your video on every side and it doesn't look as good. And uh, video capture settings, I would put that at 60 FPS because YouTube now, or not now, but YouTube can run 60 FPS videos. So I would either check 60 FPS or change this to, if you have a really good computer, change this number right here to um, a higher number than 60 if you have a good computer. But for most, for the most part, 60 is what you're gonna have to, is what you're want, gonna want to set it at. Now you're going to uncheck this split movie every four gigabytes because it splits the movie and then it'll be a, a random cut in your video. But if you want to keep it, uh, if you want to split it every four gigabytes, this will be every four gigabytes. That's about I would say a every eight ish minutes is when it would split so that would kind of give you a time to see I mean you you'd pretty much be able to tell the time by how many recordings you did but in my opinion I do not have the split movie every four gigabytes so um, it's pretty much just preference so for sound capture settings you want to check record win 7 sound that enables you to record Skype and TeamSpeak so if you want to record with someone, you'll need to have this checked. And then you want to have stereo checked and not multi-channel. And then for the second thing, record external input. Now, then you're going to, right here is where you're going to choose your microphone. But you, if you have multiple microphones, like, for instance, 
if I were to be doing face cam. My face cam also has a has an audio setting and it wasn't when I first installed my face cam this was changed so it wasn't my, my Yeti microphone so the way you would fix that if you have multiple mics it should if you just have one mic built in or something like that it should be the default but if it is not the default or the mic you want you go to computer right here you're gonna click, you're gonna hover over control panel, this is for Windows, I don't know how to do it on a Mac, I'm sorry. And you're going to look for sound, it should be kinda down here at the bottom, you might have to scroll down a little bit, but it is sound right there. You're gonna click on that, and then, let's go ahead and minimize this to get this out of the way. Then you're going to click recording, and you guys can see right here, I have a uh, des my desktop microphone, this is my, uh, my face cam. It is not the face cam I use in my videos, but it is a face cam that I have. Then this Realtek High Definition Audio, this is my old microphone. It is my, um, the old, the old headset I used to use. And this is the audio, because I do not have my headset plugged in, I'm not using that. So, what you're pretty much going to want to choose is the microphone that you have, whether it be a Blue Yeti, Blue Snowball, anything else you might have if it's a turtle beach headset whatever you're gonna click on that and if you see right here it says set default since mine is already set as default because you guys can see by the little check mark I do not need to click that but if the microphone you have is not the microphone you want to use you're gonna click this and it's gonna say you're gonna click set to default right there and it's gonna set that to default so then once you have set the correct microphone you want to use you're going to restart fraps just close out of it and I don't want to close out of it right this second, so I'm not going to. You're just going to close out of it and reopen it. And then, right here, it should say which... It should say the correct mic microphone. So that's pretty much it for the movies. Um, if you want to hide your mouse cursor in the video, uh, so, like, you won't see the little white arrow, uh, you can click that, and it'll hide it in the videos. But I don't like doing that because um, I just like having my mouse there. It's just a preference thing. Lock frame rate while recording. That isn't necessarily good to do. Because if you hit a lag spike, that'll uh, really mess up your recording. And you don't need to worry about the, the this one. Force losses. Lossless RGB capture. And then in screenshots. Screenshots is something I don't use very often. But uh, my screen capture hotkey is F10. So while I'm recording, if you want to take a screenshot of something, you would just hit F10. And it would take a screenshot of whatever is on your screen and the image format it can be bmp jpg png or tga i would choose either jpg or png um png lets you use transparent things and jpg is just another format so that's pretty much it for that now i'm gonna go back to fps and show you guys what that looks like in videos okay so as you guys can see right here i have minecraft open which is what i normally record and right here at the top right, you can see the um, the yellow numbers. That is your FPS that you're running right now. And in the Minecraft launcher, you can only get up to 30. It doesn't go higher than that. I don't know why. And so now you have a recording software. You have something to record. So that means you can start recording. So I'm going to click F9. And as you guys can see right here, the numbers are now red. That means I am recording. So if you guys don't appear, if the numbers don't appear red, then make sure to check your cap the, your video capture hotkey. Make sure it is the correct button. Make sure you hit the right button, because I've done that before. I've hit the wrong button and ended up not recording an entire video, which really sucks. And that's pretty much all you need to know about Fraps. When you stop recording, See, I just hit F9 again, that means I stopped recording, and the numbers are now yellow. When you stop recording, you can view the movie, and right here you guys see folder save movies in, it is um, computer slash frap slash movies. You can change that by clicking right there, and changing it to maybe a folder on your desktop, saving it to wherever, but for me, I save it to a folder that's already there, because you can just click view, and view your videos. See right here, I've got these uh, past recordings, videos I haven't 
edited yet because I've, I'm just saving for a rainy day, stuff like that. So these are all the recordings I have used with Fraps. If you guys have screenshots that you, that you have taken with Fraps, you just go to screenshots and you click view. I actually have some screenshots. I did not know I had these, but I do. Don't know what they are. Don't know why I have them, but I have them. I do not have very many, as you guys can see, because I don't take very many screenshots. So, that's pretty much all you need to know about Fraps. If you guys have any more questions about anything I've said so far, make sure to tell me in the comments. And if you guys want to check out my other tutorials that I have done on how to install uh, Pixelmon and how to install and run CrazyCraft, make sure to check out those. Those links will be in the description below. And like I said, if you guys have any more questions on anything I've covered in this video, make sure to tell me, and I, make sure to tell me in the comments, and I will try and help you as best I can. So I hope you guys enjoy this video, and if you guys want to see more of these, make sure to tell me uh, to do more and what to do. So if you guys have any suggestions of thing of tutorials that you want me to do, make sure to tell me and I will do them. So yeah, see you guys in another video. Bye! Cracker. So many the big ones. The big ones are so fat, they don't want to die. I can do it, I'm doing it, I'm doing good, I'm doing good. Oh, the yellow one, the yellow one is- Oh, shoot, oh, shoot, oh, shoot, oh, shoot, oh, shoot.